Are we finally going to see Malik Willis and Will Levis battle it out for QB2 or QB1? Well, we may finally have our answer this Sunday. You're watching Titans Today by Chat Sports. My name is Jay Sanders, and we're going to talk about Tannehill's replacement on today's show. As it seems as though Tannehill not practicing today, he may not be playing this week. Well, Mike Vrabel had some comments as to who the starting quarterback would be this upcoming Sunday. We're going to talk about that today, but this is exactly why you subscribe to Titans today. We're going to give you the latest Titans updates as soon as they happen. Make sure you subscribe. It's 100% free. And best of all, more subs, more videos on this channel. If you want more Titans content, then hit that sub button because we're putting some out every single day of the year. Let's go to this Adam Schefter tweet that kind of broke the news as Mike Vrabel in his press conference today said that he expects both QBs, Malik Willis and Will Levis, to play against the Falcons if Ryan Tannehill does not go. Tannehill is not, is not practicing today due to an ankle injury. Let's break this down piece by piece, and the first one I want to start with is Ryan Tannehill not practicing. So, Tannehill is going to miss the first practice of the week. He had the ankle injury that kept him really off the field the entire fourth quarter in the London game just two weeks ago. You had the bye week, but given this is the first practice of the week, it's not a good sign to say that he will play. You would think if he was ready to go this Sunday, he may be a limited participant. He may be there at practice, but it seems as though Ryan Tannehill isn't even there. We've gotten some pictures, and really the only two quarterbacks we've seen, well, it'd be Mawikulis and Will Levis. So, with that being said, I don't think Tannehill should play this week. He also has some ankle injury history. This isn't the first time he's had this high ankle sprain as he suffered a very similar injury. In fact, the same injury basically last year. He missed five total games. We've gone through this before. Three of those games was the last three games of the season when he got placed on IR. Malik Willis came in and played those last three games. But the injury that I want this to be compared to is the one in the earlier part of the season, late October, where Tannehill missed two weeks. And then guess what? He came back after that. You do the math here. He misses the bye week. He misses the Falcons game. He could be back next week. But all I'm going to say is this. It gives Will Levis and Malik Willis a shot to earn the right to be the starting quarterback in Tennessee. As Rabel has been con consistent time and time again, he's going to stick with Tannehill as long as he is healthy. I want to know from you, though, are you done with Ryan Tannehill? Because I think a lot of the Titans fan base is tired of seeing Ryan Tannehill rolled out there every week. Is tired of seeing Tannehill go out there and just play poorly, throw into double coverage, and overall just kind of diminish the value of this team. Let me know if you are done with Ryan Tannehill. Let me know by typing Y for yes or typing in for no in the comments section of today's video. Please don't play him. Please. Listen, I'm the type of guy that values loyalty. I'm the type of guy that understands a guy's veteran presence. But you can do that without playing on the football field. And that's exactly what Ryan Tannehill needs to be at this point. I will say this time and time again, Tannehill is not a good quarterback anymore. Was he? Yes, he was. His first year with the Titans, magical. Now, not so much, and you have to move on. You can't play him this Sunday against the Falcons. And here's the second point I want to make. You have to give Will Levis and Malik Willis a shot. Ultimately, you've drafted quarterbacks in back-to-back -back NFL drafts, yet you've only seen one of them, and the only reason you've seen him is because of injury to Tannehill. That's kind of what was expected of Malik Willis, but Will Levis has been a talented quarterback in college, going from Penn State to Kentucky. Now here in the NFL, a projected first-round pick, falls to the second round, you got to give them both a shot as both options deserve a chance on this field just to see what the Titans have in the future because ultimately Ryan Tannehill is not the future of the Tennessee Titans. Malik Willis and Will Levis could be, but you do not know that unless you actually give them a chance. Man, ultimately there's this. Tannehill has not played well this year. Two touchdowns to six interceptions. I think Malik Willis, along with Will Levis, gives you a better shot to win this Sunday against the Falcons. And I think if they're playing, well, you may as well place some money on it. So if you are, then I want you to go to our sportsbook partner, BetUS, and use code CHAT125 
for a 125% deposit bonus. We're going to have this in the links, chatsports.com slash bet. Again, one chat, chat 125. Here are the week eight odds, and I'm telling you, Malik Willis, Will Levis, both are giving you better chances to win this game. The favorite being the Falcons at minus two. I'm putting my 125% deposit bonus all on the Titans this week because if you get Willis, if you get Levis, man, I know you lost Kevin Byard yesterday, but I think this team is better than the Falcons, and Desmond Ritter is not it. They just came off a lucky win, a lucky win. I'm going to say it that against the Buccaneers. They're not going to get lucky twice. Titans, an extra week of break facing the Falcons. Put that money on the minus two. Over under of 36 and a half. Honestly, I may take the under just because I think this is going to be a defensive minor game. And Desmond Ritter loves to turn the ball over. Well, two young quarterbacks, we may see a lot of turnovers. Let's go back into these two quarterbacks, though, and who maybe should start. Say Tannehill is hurt. Say Tannehill cannot go, which even if he is healthy, I don't think he should go. But Malik Willis, he's had NFL experience. 10 games played, 53 completion percentage. The big number that I don't like is zero touchdown, three interceptions. But you got to give him time. You got to let him get a feel of the game. And honestly, going against a Falcons defense that is just A.J. Terrell, well, that may be the perfect spot for him. I think he might be the guy to start. But to my point, we haven't even seen Will Levis yet, which is why I like that Mike Vrabel finally came out today and said, you know what? You're not just going to see Malik Willis. You're probably going to see Will Levis because we haven't gotten to dive into what this guy is. And here's the thing that I think is the most important about Will Levis. I've said it time and time again, but Mel Kuyper was high on Will Levis. And I don't know about you, but Mel Kuyper has been a guy that has been trusted by NFL executives, NFL owners, NFL coaches for years and years and years. And when, is he, when he is saying stuff like this about Will Levis, you have to give him a shot. He said this literally right after the Titans drafted the quarterback Levis out of Kentucky in the second round. I like his toughness. I like his arm. I like his makeup. I like the way he is so smart. He was a straight A student in high school. He's 24 years of age, so he is mature. He continued on to say he can move. He is mobile. He had nine rushing touchdowns in 2021 when he was healthy, so he can stress a defense with his legs. He played a, in an NFL system back-to-back -back years at Kentucky. And the biggest quote of all, I don't have a crystal ball, but I would bet on Will Levis. I would bet on Will Levis. He has a great situation there in Tennessee. Give Will Levis a shot this Sunday, please. Ultimately, you have to see what you got. It's time and time you've seen Malik Willis. If he goes out there and he gives you something less than what you're expecting, put Will Levis out there. He just talked a bit. Mel Kuyper, one of the most trusted NFL guys in the entire planet, just told you he is in a great situation and just showed that Will Levis is great in college and you haven't seen him in the NFL. In fact, his college stats, well, they're nothing less than impressive to say the least. 64.9 completion percentage, just under 6,000 yards in under 40 games, 46 touchdowns to 25 interceptions. He's good. He's been good in college. You give him DeAndre Hopkins. You let him go out there and you let him show what he is made of. You stole him in the second round. Pick 33. He was supposed to be picks one through five. You got him at pick 33. Now I am going to stop myself. I am not sold on Will Levis. As much as I like the guy as a prospect, as much as I see a high ceiling with Will Levis, I'm not sold on him just for the simple fact of why did he drop if he was this good? Why was he left to be in the second day if he was this good? But you need to know if he is good or not now. The upcoming quarterback draft class is impressive. And if you're done with Tannehill, if Willis is in it, then you need to try Will Levis right now. Because if you don't, then I don't know when the next shot will be to then test Will Levis and have the backup plan if we can draft somebody in the upcoming draft. But at the same time, 
we haven't given Malik Willis a fair look either. This weekend is about getting that fair look for both of these guys. So let me know in the comment section who should start. Will Levis type WL, Malik Willis type dub MW. Let me know in the comment section. I'm going to make this the pin comment. I think this is the one we need to talk about because I don't think Tannehill is playing. I think it's going to be Will Levis. I think it's going to be Malik Willis. If I were to bet on who were to start, I would say Malik Willis. But maybe you think it should be Will Levis. Well, now's your time to shine, Titans fans. Let me know in the comment section as I'm curious to see what Titan Nation is thinking. Let me present to you a new idea, though. Let's forget about who started. Let's forget about who deserves to be on the field. What if we say, you know what, we haven't given either of these guys a fair shot. What about a 2QB system? Now, this doesn't work in college. This doesn't work everywhere, right? But here's the thing. It works when the two quarterbacks complement each other. And I think these two quarterbacks complement each other well. If you look at the pros of these quarterbacks, Malik Willis, he's mobile, he's insanely athletic, and he has NFL experience. Whereas Will Levis, he has an incredible arm, he fits an NFL-type offense, and he is very good at understanding defenses and can read them. These two would fit hand-in-hand. Hand. And the best thing about it all is that Malik Willis can also play running back. Will Levis could also run the ball. You could play them side by side, and you would have the most complicated playbook for defenses to look at. Imagine that. Imagine you have a backfield where it is two quarterbacks that both can run, and you don't know what the heck to expect. Listen, you're two and four. Why not pull something out of the hat and just try it? Let me know if you think this would be a good idea, or if you think maybe I'm just stupid. Maybe you think this is dumb. Why are we talking about a two QB system? You need to play one of them. You need to play one of them. Well, let me know. Would you like to see a 2QB system run by Mike Brable? Let me know in the comment section of today's video. Maybe I'm just stupid. We appreciate you watching. Make sure you're subscribed, youtube.com slash titans today. Or you're watching on your phone, you're watching on your TV, you're watching on your laptop. There's going to be a little red subscribe button. Hit that button. It'll turn gray. You're subscribed. You're a part of the Titans Today fan base, the Titans Today community. And we'll give you videos every single day of the week. We appreciate you as always. Peace out. Thank you.